Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I am stressed and I am actually annoyed. <sighs> yeah, well, let's start with the, the good things. <laughs> Work was most of the time fun today. I could, yeah, basically finish all the holes that I need, needed to drill in my, yeah, little box. And then I started soldering some cables. Well, I did good until I had to solder the eight of nine um, cables into this adapter. And then I put too much soldering paste on it so that I created basically a connection between two pins of the adapter, which is not what I wanted to have, of course. And then I tried to fix it by basically removing um, cables from the pins so that I can have like space to clean out this connecting um, pins with the soldering paste. Did not work. I started melting the whole plastic um, of this, like the, the cover basically that is around the pins. It, so I had to redo the thing. And then I actually felt like I have lost my ability to work because it took me forever. I'm not even kidding, like 15, 20 minutes to get one cable back onto a new adapter. Like it really annoyed me. And then I was like pushing and pushing and somehow I made it to work that all nine or like all, yeah, all the cables that I need on this adapter are now on there on a new one, however, because the old one I just destroyed too too much heat um but yeah then i saw like oh yay there's a new connection between two pins and i was like no not again luckily it was not so much so i could basically like yeah go with something sharp in between to rem and to get some distance in between those things and then i did some testing with a multimeter so that i really know okay there is no connection between those and it worked so i was like yes that is it for today so yeah basically um yeah the day was moving it was going very fast for sure but it was just like why is it not working or like why am i stuck on this it yeah and then i just got home and i was looking in the mailbox and i got two letters from scandia and I was like, yes, awesome. I can finally do my bank account thing and it works out. Well, how do I say it? I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> because basically I have received one letter where it says like, hey, um, leave the following like... Um, information like copy of a certain document um in a in a new envelope basically like this and send it to us and then you will get um, a pin sent back to your mailbox where you can install like mobile bank id however the things that i can place in there um like as an official document is a swedish passport a swedish identification card what else wait I want to tell you um, an ID card from the Skatteverket, so from the tax um, thing, or something what I've never heard before, like a um, Swedish SIS ID card. No idea. So there is nothing that I can basically put on there. And I remember when I called the guy, like, yeah, one and a half weeks ago, he said, yeah, okay, if you don't have any of those, I will send you another document where you can get all the information. So I was like, okay, that's the second letter. Well, I looked at, like I looked through it, I was reading it, and I was like, wait, that is basically the same letter. So yeah, there are some changes. However, it's just like, yeah, welcome, you want to become like an internet customer, that's amazing, bleep, blah, blah. Uh, here to do, like, you have to do the following, and then they write like, place your document and the documents that you can use are Swedish driver's license. Oh yeah, that was also on the other one. I'm sorry. Swedish passport, Swedish ID card, um, or the ID card from the Skatteverket. And I was like, huh? What? <laughs> like, 
like what is going on like i cannot do that too like oh and yeah and then there's something else like here okay we have when we have checked your identity you um, get a letter to your closest um, like postal office where you then have to like identify yourself and you receive a pin code which you can then use to do something on the website okay so first of all am i now just placing my passport on both of them and i just sent them i don't know second of all i <laughs> i didn't know that those those things like both of them were envelopes and i was like oh cool they are probably the same no there's a different address on one of them i have no idea which address is which letter i i guess i know which one it is one because it says like bo kund like bo customer i don't know and it also says on one of the letters return it to bo customer however the zip code for stockholm on the envelope is different than the zip code on this document like what is going on oh it, it really makes me angry and that is that is one of the things like however the the point that actually stresses me out in this situation right now the most is that at work the person that is like working on the salary doing the, all the taxation and things she told me like yeah best case would be that you tell me your bank account until tomorrow she might have like two three days to push it later but there's no chance in hell that i am going to receive a bank account in the next few days and she said like yeah maybe you should open up a bank account with a office in town and now i feel like yeah maybe i should but it is annoying because first of all i don't have i i want to work you know i i don't want to waste time running to the city because i thought like oh that is so it's awesome that i have the opportunity to just like walk to the closest mailbox which is seven minutes from my work which is totally okay but now this takes forever probably maybe i even make it wrong first of all i might send the what the wrong thing to the wrong one and i also don't have any swedish identification so what i have no idea and then i have this pressure from work that i have to make it basically till tomorrow <sighs> i feel a bit like crying like for real this is so annoying eh? oh what am i going to do like if i take in a bank which has an office i will definitely take handelsbanken because i think like that was the thing that made the most sense but first of all what day <laughs> like i definitely can just catch a ride tomorrow after work with one of my colleagues that's no problem but then i have to get back here okay maybe i just maybe i have to take a bus for once yeah i think that is because my my landlord has um like an appointment each tuesday so there's like no chance that it's going to work tomorrow but yeah so what am i going to do oh i hate it i really hate it <laughs> i'm sorry that i'm wasting your time right now but i'm i'm really struggling i think what i'm going to do is i will just place my passport my german passport on wait i can also show you because there's basically no information on it wait i i even got the same um yeah document which is just a different title where you place your whatever passport down here and put some information up there which you then place into the envelope and you send it away but 
Yeah, I, I think I will just put my, my German passport on here. Like, I don't know, scan it somehow. Maybe at work tomorrow. The the post is getting picked up at 9 a.m. So I have to be at the mail. I have to put those things in the mailbox before 9. So probably I will just do it before work or maybe when the others go for like a like a breakfast fika. I will just take those 15 minutes of additional walking. <sighs> yeah, well... I don't know. But I think that's the only thing that makes sense right now. So with that, with Scandia, like. And then, yeah, I don't know how long this takes, but I still think I have to do a an office uh, at, a, at a different bank because this just, it's too risky. Like, and if I would, if I would not have the pressure from work, I would not care at all, of course. It is a bit annoying because I'm actually running out of money on my German bank account. It's not like, oh, yeah, money, woo, woo, no. But this, I don't know what happens when I don't make it. You know, I asked her and she did not say. So I don't know. Well, that is basically the rant. <laughs> okay, guys, I have to give you an update. I have just called the customer support of Scandia Banken. And well, they just told me it's not possible to open a bank account without any Swedish ID. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> Thank you for telling me two weeks ago that I can, yeah, do that by receiving another document. I don't know. I think now what I need to do is like, I have to go to an office of a different bank, which sucks, but it I have to do. There's no other chance. But I think I will just, I will just send those documents to them with my German passport. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Either they will maybe make something out of it or not. I will just put it in there and then, yeah. I don't know. We will see, but that's the end of this story well tomorrow I, i think i have to call handelsbanken now maybe i can make an appointment for tomorrow or wednesday i don't know uh, i want to eat this microphone like for real like uh, have a good one bye bye